In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can configure WireGuard VPN tunnel. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So as per the title, we are going to configure WireGuard VPN tunnel server and the client both using Windows 10. Okay, so first of all, I'm going into the installation page. Here you can find almost all the information. It's pretty simple. Uh, for Windows, you just need to click on Windows installer and it will download the client. Okay, so I'm going to install this one on PFSense firewall. But if you have Ubuntu server, you can install on that one as well. In uh, one of my upcoming videos, I will install... Uh, WireGuard VPN server on Ubuntu server. Okay, so first of all, we are going to go to click on system and then package manager. Under package manager, go to available packages and search for WireGuard and it will. Yeah, so the current version is WireGuard 0.2.1. So I'm going to click on install and then confirm will take a couple seconds to install and then once it is installed it should show up in the VPN section so here you can see we have WireGuard uh, installed and now you can see there is no configuration for tunnel peer settings and all other stuff so I'm not going to change anything uh, on the settings but you can see and you can change if anything you want but for the easiest setup, I'm just going to show you the simplest configuration and the most secure as well. So I'm going to click on add tunnel and under add tunnel, you can see there are a couple different options you can see. Number one is to enable tunnel. So if you just want to create a tunnel but want to keep it disabled like nobody can use that, then uncheck that box. So since we are going to use it and test it i'm going to keep it enable and you can see the note as well all right so i'm just going to name it uh for my proxmox tunnel zero and then uh for the port number by default it's 51820 but i'm going to change it to 51821 and you can choose whatever you want uh, it depends on you for every single tunnel you will need to set another port and in one tunnel you can add multiple peers and how it works i will show you in this video okay for for the keys the public key and the private key since we don't have already any key i'm just going to generate a new key and once it's generated you just need to copy this one and paste it into notepad or somewhere where you can keep it saved so that's the public ip uh, sorry the public key for tunnel what we're going to create and then we are going to set up a uh, ip address or uh, you can say ip uh, subnet so you can decide how many peers you need for this tunnel uh, for me it's gonna be uh, more than 100 so i'm gonna just keep it uh, with 24 slash 24 subnet and i'm gonna name it wg uh, tunnel for proxmox and then you can add addresses here uh, if you want to allow any addresses but i'm gonna do that in the peer section so simply click on save tunnel and now you can see the tunnel is saved and under peers you can see there is no peers so i can create peers uh inside this tunnel like click here to add a peer or or i can go into peers and then uh click on add peer okay first i'm going to just apply the changes all right changes are applied so i'm going to click on add peer 
So if I do it here, I will need to select a tunnel. So currently I have only one, so that's why it's showing one. If I have more than one, then I will need to select one. If you do that in the tunnel, uh, it, this thing will not show up because you're already in the tunnel. And then you're going to name it. So I'm going to name it Windows 10 PC. So my this Windows 10 PC will connect to uh, the VPN itself. So the main purpose is to access all the virtual machines what I have here on this Proxmox server using the local IP address. So let me show you something. So let's say Docker. And if I type IPA and the IP address is 10.0.0.11. I'm going to try pinging it. ping 10.0.0.11 you can see there is no ping and i'm going to just minimize it and i'll do that again on the same window once the vpn tunnel is configured okay so i'm going to go back to the peer creation okay here it's asking for keep a lifetime if you want to set any you can set or I would prefer just leave it as it is and it says in the description uh, as well what, what actually it is but default is empty or disabled so you can keep this as it is so this is the most important part you need uh, the public key okay so we installed the wire guard I'm just going to install it okay so once it is installed i'm going to click on this and add empty tunnel so you can see it's showing me two keys already one is private key and one is public key so you will never share private key with anyone uh, anytime you have any kind of keys public and private you always share the pri uh, the public key so i'm going to copy here uh, paste here the public key okay for the pre-shared key part just leave it as it is empty don't click on generate because we already have the key from this wireguard application for windows 10 and then i'm going to type the second ip address from that subnet and this time i will select slash 32 not slash 24 and then i'm going to uh, type the description so windows 10 PC and save this pair. Okay, once it is saved, I'm gonna click on apply changes. All right, so our task on this uh, PFSense or the WireGuard server, it's completed, but still there is no active tunnel. You can see it's not active yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, copy this information. I'm going to write this uh, blog and I will paste. Uh, I will post it once the video is posted. So you can just copy this all and paste into your configuration file. So what I'm going to do here, I'll just paste it here. And then from the... VPN configuration on your Windows machine client. I'm just going to paste the local key here and then the IP address, which is uh, 172.160.0.2. And I'm going to remove this comment and the public key from this tunnel. So I'm going to go back into tunnel and then I actually already have copied this one right here but in case if I forgot to copy I can still copy it from here so it's starting with GIP so this is actually the right one and I'm gonna paste it here and then allowed IP addresses so this one is the subnet what I have with the WireGuard VPN and then I'm going to add another one which is a subnet I actually want to access and the public IP address of your router. Uh, for me, it's I'm going to go and check one more time. Uh, it's 
this one and then i'm going to paste it in this and the port number we had was by one something let's go back and see uh 51821 51821 and here i'm just gonna hit backspace to get the exact spaces in between all right so just verify everything one more time so interface private key and this is the address 172.16.0.2 slash 24 and the public key and the allowed ip addresses and then i'm going to copy all this and paste it into this tunnel and then save it says name is required so i'm going to name it um wire guard underscore pf sense save and then click on activate and let's see if it's activates okay so it's activated and i'm gonna go check the status here as well now you can see i have this peer in green that says in less than five minutes it was connected uh latest handshake five seconds ago and all the information okay so i'm gonna open the same uh command prompt again now you can see i can uh ping that local machine and this one the docker machine what i actually showed you so that's how you do all the configuration and the only difficult thing is to entering all the information for that i'm gonna have all that stuff in my uh video description you can just click on the link and you will get all this information just copy and replace with your ip addresses and whatever you want to do with that so i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video make sure to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you so much i'll see you in the next video bye